hello everyone in this session we will discuss some detailed analysis of the demagnetizing and cross magnetizing ampere turns so before discussion first once again we will recollect what is demagnetizing and what is cross magnetizing first demagnetizing so name itself magnetization will be decreased that means the resultant flux will be decreases resultant flux so what is the resultant flux the effect on main field flux due to the armature flux the resultant flux will be decreases that is called the demagnetization that time the magnitude of the flux will be decreases what about cross magnetization cross is name itself it will not decrease the flux but change its direction cross effects change its direction okay then the flux change in the flux will be possible that means what is that meaning so here we have some flux generally like this flat top of flux but due to the effect of the cross magnetizing the flux will be varies like this the flux will be varies like this it will be changed so now we will detail the analysis what happen actually inside that okay for that purpose just look at here we have two poles one is north pole and south pole every time we are taking that and this is the brush axis you know that this is the brush axis normal brush axis and uh, so you know that always north pole we have some cross but generally generally brushes will be shifted in this position brushes will be shifted in this position just look at here this is the position and i will take this is the position so due to this position the brush will be axis will be like this the brush axis will be like this so straight line will be varied okay yeah straight line will be varied yeah like that okay so whenever the brushes is shifted then automatically we have some some something will happen that 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 we should look at that means generally across any north pole we should have some cross so i will create the cross but here cross will be shifted to this point because brush is shifted some theta angle and dot will become here so this is the cross all our crosses all our crosses and all our crosses look at here just one dot is available and one cross is available so under south pole always we have dotted conductors so this is the dot and this is the dot and this is the dot and dot 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 okay so these are the conductors these are the conductors let we have some discussion about this that is generally this is you know that this is the magnetically neutral axis straight point okay magnetically neutral axis shifting because the theta will be shifted here theta will be shifted like this right and you should have some idea that is generally from north pole to south pole we have flux direction is you know always flux lines travels from north pole to south pole in this fashion but here cross means what happen generally the cross means current direction will be like this current direction will be like this current will be like this and this is also the current direction current direction will be like this here we are, we are also have some cross so here also we have the current direction will be like this okay current direction it will be like this here dot current direction will be changes that means current direction is this point to this point here this is the complete thing this complete thing is like this so this is the current direction is like this okay yeah so due to that we should discuss some points so 
what happened actually inside this so this is also having something yeah what happened actually here just look at here in the north pole across we have some dotted is there just observe this is the dotted line like right just take the dot here and remaining all are the crosses cross and cross 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 and what about here we have some cross is shifted you can take cross and dot and dot and dot dot all are the dots okay so here we have some cross that's why the waveform is started from here and reach zero point reach maximum point at this point and after that after that it will be and it will be reach some maximum point here and after that slowly it will be decreases so we can take we can take like this okay so we can take like this this is due to the reason of this is the due to the reason of the brush brush shifting we can make it as the theta brush shifting this will be the reason okay so what happened inside means we have two things are possible by doing this demagnetization is possible and cross magnetization is possible here demagnetization this region for cross magnetization is possible and this region for demagnetization is possible okay okay it's inside is there generally it is a inside so finally the flux will be having some disturbance wave it look like a disturbance wave so in that we should discuss demagnetizing ampere turns per pole we should discuss about demagnetizing ampere turn per pole so whenever we should discuss this we will understand what happen actually inside okay so for that purpose for that purpose so i will analyze demagnetizing ampere turns per pole that is atd by per pole so for that purpose i will take some path is there that is some path is there that is like this so we have some armature current the armature current will be increases to here and that will be shifted if these are the in the armature we have number of parallel paths we can take this is the a number of parallel paths generally we have here four but generally parallel paths number represents with the a so this is the a number of parallel paths okay and so in the each the total current is ia but each parallel path the current will be we can represent ia by a ia by a okay so here also the current is ia by a here also the current is ia by a yeah okay that will be flows and so to understand this we have to learn some points already you know that let take z is total number of conductors so in the armature itself it is a combination of conductors this is the total number of conductors p is generally the number of poles a is number of parallel paths ia is the armature current so we can find out the total number of turns first total number of turns so total number of turns is like this total number of turns how we how we are getting the turns generally one turns means the combination of two conductors so like this so we will get the z by 2 and total ampere turns because we are required only ampere turns only total ampere turns the total ampere turns value is turns is z by 2 and total current is total ia by a ia by a for single conductor for single conductor okay these are the number of turns into in the each current each current so we are getting amperes are ia by a turns are z by 2 finally we will get total number of turns right now we can get 
ampere turns per pole. So we are getting the ampere turns per pole. This is the ampere. We have already turns is there by pole. So this Z by 2 and IA by A into pole 1 by pole this represents with the 1 by pole. So this formula will give total ampere turns per pole. Total ampere turns per pole. So we will write like this. So this is the ampere turns per pole. So finally Z IA by 2A into P. So that is the ampere turns per pole. We can name it as the ampere turns per pole. Okay. Yeah. So we are now we are getting only ampere turns per pole. So next what is our requirement? Our requirement is this ampere turns generally this is for per pole means every pole consisting of the 180 degrees electrical that value is the Z I A by 2 into A into P. But what is our demagnetizing turns? How we are getting the demagnetizing turns? Demagnetizing turns is we have the 2 theta is the demagnetizing turn. How, how we are getting this demagnetizing turns? Just look at here. This is the this is the demagnetizing area and this is also the demagnetizing area. These two areas are demagnetizing, right? For that, how much we will getting? So by shifting this, so how much we are getting? We are getting uh, this value is Z I A by 2 A P into 2 theta by 180. 2 theta by 180. So therefore, this is the demagnetizing ampere turns per pole. Demagnetizing ampere turns per pole. That formula is Z into armature current by 2A into P by 2 theta into 180. So this will give the formula of the demagnetizing ampere turns per pole. The formula is Z into IA by 2 AP 2 theta by 180. Okay. This is about the demagnetizing ampere turns per pole in a DC machine. This is a very very important formula that will be useful in understanding and doing the some problems in the DC machines. Okay. I hope all of you understand the session. Thank you.